such a nice day today, walking down the street, just enjoying the beautiful sunshine, and I got cat called. <laughs> Except it was real cats. It was real cats. They were like, hey, never. I'm like, hey, guys. <laughs> they know I'm in charge. They know I'm the leader. Anyway, you know, they can tell. But here's the thing. I, I, there's that, you know that dating app, Tinder? I don't, I, don't, I don't do that. I don't do that dating app at all. I, I, I do do the, um, the uh, taxi cab app. Uber, have you, have you done that? That's the closest thing I've had to a date in years. You have no idea. It's usually out of work actors, like all chatty and stuff. The other day I got into one, I sat in the, in the front seat like a slut. I swear to God, it was great. I was leaned in. <laughs> he kicked me out early, but that's not the point of the story. Uh, another thing, this happened to me the other day. I walked into a spider web uh, with my face. Have you ever done that? I ruined a spider's home with my face. And that's very upsetting. He's there in his duplex, do you know what I mean? He's fluffing a pillow, and then I ruin things. Do you understand? And that's upsetting. If you think of the reverse, wouldn't that be terrifying if a spider walked into your house with his face? Oh, my God. Don't think about it. You'll never sleep again. It's so scary. Oh. Okay, we're back. But here's the thing. I, you know what I told my friends? I was like, I walked into a spider web with my face and then I was itchy all day long. And then you know what happens? Your friends always say this to you. They're like, oh, you know what? Probably haven't. The spider probably burrowed underneath your skin and has laid 10,000 babies. <laughs> and why does everyone say that? Why is that the first go-to, do you know? And I thought about, I was very upset about it. And then I was like, eh, who cares? At least I'd be a mother. Do you know what I mean? At least. <laughs> and then when I get bored of them, get a newspaper and they're done. But anyway, here's the... <laughs> yes, I'll tell you this. <laughs> Pornography is very upsetting nowadays. I don't know if you're aware of this, but in the olden days, it was quite nice. It was lovely. There was always a story. People always ordered a pizza. Yeah, I'm into it. Do you know what I mean? I'm halfway there. What are you getting on the pizza? <laughs> Whoa, right? It's sexy. And then, and then the pizza man would show up, but the poor girl doesn't have any money. Oh no, what are we gonna do? She thinks of an idea how to pay, and he seems, he seems to like the idea. So that works out. I've turned off by now because the pizza's arrived and I'm done. Do you know what I mean? I'm all, oh, yeah, I'm finished. But anyway, but, but now it's very upsetting. Do you know what I mean? There's all oh, terrifying costumes and girls and cups and terrifying things. And I, you know, I'm, this is just me. I'm speaking on behalf of girls. I think we like it a little more gentle. Like to me, porn is just like a cute guy without a shirt on doing my dishes. Do you understand? Because housework is hot. Let me tell you that, gentlemen. You want to get lucky tomorrow? Vacuum, vacuum. You vacuum your house, your wife will vacuum you. Yes, she will, right? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds dirty. And, um, you know, and also clean, so that's fun. But anyway, um, you know what I think? I'll tell you this. I, you know, I went to my therapist the other day, and you're welcome. I did go to my therapist, but she told me this. She said this, that one of the side effects of depression is loss of appetite. <laughs> What? Are you sure? I think you should check that again. I think the pages were stuck together. Are you kidding? Is that just, cause I gotta tell you, whenever I'm sad, everything tastes like love. Are you with me? Have you tried, have you tried mother's approval ice cream? It's delicious. Have you tried it? That is my favorite flavor. Here's another one. I'll tell you something. I hate the word gal. Oh, G-A-L, gal, gals. I hate it so much. Gal to me sounds like the fat version of girl, doesn't it? Sounds like you're trying to say girl, but your mouth is full of food. Don't lie to me. That's all, girl. <laughs> you know? I think it's short for gallon. But anyway, here's the thing. 3.78 liters in Canada. I'll tell you this. I hate, oh, I know stuff. I, uh, I love beards. I'm obsessed with beards. I love dudes with beards. And I like big, I like bushy beards. I like big, yeah, I've seen you. I, uh, you know, I clocked you immediately. Are you kidding? Please, <laughs> we'll get security to walk you out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> except I'm security, don't tell him. Anyway, um, but I do, I love beards, I love it. I love it when, when things get Hasidic. Do you know what I mean? I like when it gets big, right? I love it, because I'm gonna tell you, sometimes there's snacks in there and they don't know. They have no idea. Oh, you just gotta be patient, you just gotta be patient. God, it's good. Here's something that I'll tell you this, I found out that loving beards, it's actually, there's a title for it. I'm called a paganophile. Because I, it's a word, it's a big word, fancy word. So now it makes me sound like a classy creep, doesn't it, a little bit? You know, I should have a cravat. <laughs> Actually, I mean a napkin for the snacks. But anyway, that's, <laughs> I'm covered. Here's the hills. Another thing, this also happened to me a, a little while ago. One of my eyes was twitching. Ugh. It twitched all day long, like 24 seven, twitch, twitch, twitch. Drove me crazy. After about a week and a half, I made an eye patch to wear at my house out of, you know, Kleenex and masking tape. I rocked it, I rocked it. And then my friends were like, go to an eye doctor, and I said, no, I will cure this myself. I will fix it myself. So I Googled my symptoms. Here's something, don't do that. Don't ever do that, because that's a terrible idea. And if you're gonna Google, never Google twitching eye. 
You will get the scariest pornography you've ever seen. Don't look it up. Do not look it up. I swear to God, I'll give somebody the link later. But anyway, this is, it's so. But I go in, I finally go to the eye doctor. I, I finally go, $85 I give to this woman. And she tells me, you're tired. $85? Also, I should tell you I was high as a kite. I should mention that as well. I should, <laughs> I was frightened. So I was like, should I smoke this joint? Yes, and then I did. And yeah, I want you to know, the eye doctor, their area of expertise is your eyes. Are you aware of that? They spend the whole appointment looking into your eyes. She was asking me questions I couldn't answer. You know, she's like, are you aware that you only have pupil? There's no iris at all. I'm like, is that, is that a problem, officer? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, she wanted me to read the eye chart and she's like, can you see the E? And I'm like, I'm not on E, what the hell? And then I danced. I danced at that because there were spiders on me. You know how it is. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>